Well, you gotta wait for the old guy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just you. You've changed, you've changed outfielders today. Yeah, yeah I, I think a lot of people are speculating on this. Um, obviously, uh, Gritch was just having a hard time getting going. And, uh, you know, I think one of the things that we've been trying to do all year is, is, is go with that hot hand. And, and you know, we, we've talked a lot about building that roster of flexibility. And, and the downside sometimes on that is if you're struggling, it's hard to get you those consistent at bats. And in, in this case, uh, send him down to Memphis, allow him to play every day, and, and hopefully he can get himself going. Um, you know, we still have high expectations for him, and we still think we're a better team with him on uh, part of the St. Louis Cardinals. Now, having said that, you know, we brought up Tommy Pham, who uh, got off to a very slow start when he was sent down to Memphis, but subsequently has picked it up and uh, has been playing well. And, so now he'll be injected onto the club and see what he can do. Did he know he was coming up before he had that big game last night? Uh, he did not. Um, we talked in theory on doing this uh, a couple days ago on the off day. Mike and I touched base on this and then ultimately uh, just thought it, it made sense to, to make this happen uh, after the game last night. Um, are we looking at kind of a platoon in center field between Wong and, and Famers? It's probably a bit premature to, to label it that, but you know, hopefully uh, Colton has a good day today and you know, we'll, we'll be able to see him out there. And the key for Colton is, is we've got to try to find him at bats and wherever we do that, whether it be second base, outfield, is, is all about just being creative. Now, in doing this, you can...